So we've just been to Costco for a little bit of an impromptu trip. However, we have Layla's birthday and Josephine's birthday on Monday and we're having a bit of a bit of a party for them on Sunday night. So we decided uh, or maybe we decided that Costco is a good good place as any to get some cake and, and bits and pieces. Okay, so I need to get the cold things away. So we've got oh, you, but Josephine and Layla are very lucky because you share birthdays, don't you? But two Mommy, years apart. This one's for me and this, this one's for Layla. Yes, or vice versa. So we've got we've tried this before, the tuxedo bar cake, and it's delicious. It looks like it's fallen over a bit in the car, but it'll taste great anyway. And then also the blueberry cheesecake is a favourite. So they get a cake each, and I'm not making cakes. Oh, I I said that last year. I'm not making. <laughs> I, I said last year, I'm not making cakes this year, and it seems that I might be following the same tradition this year, not making cakes. I used to make cakes like, all the time. But anyway, that's no big deal, because they're yummy cakes from Costco. Okay. So we've got their cakes, and then also things we have to put away. Um, Anthony chose some blue Stilton that he enjoys. I, I'll probably enjoy that too. Um, my favourite for the blue vein is um, the Costello blue and then um, these samosas oh I can smell that cheese actually oh it's strong just a minute sweetie the these samosas we love they taste really really authentic um, I've got an aunt who um, married an Indian um, guy and so for my whole life I've gone to parties where there's real samosas made and these taste just like it they're so good they're really really spicy and they come with a couple of different sauces that are nice as well so we got those because we really enjoy them no, um mum mm? made she has i know that she has only by to me and josephine some birthday stuff Oh, you know that, do you? <laughs> um, I got some more organic blueberries that really need to go away now um, for smoothies and things. Sweetie, do you mind popping those yeah. in the freezer? Thank you. I've just already started. I've also talked about the samosas. So. And um, then I'm going to make a big lot of delicious spaghetti bolognese for the girl's birthday. Well, it's more like a family gathering no, rather than a party. Gonna so I'm going to do... I was going to do lasagna. I thought maybe spaghetti bolognese with cheese. Lasagna. Well, I'll have to go get some lasagna sheets. So apparently I'm doing lasagna. <laughs> so I got a lot of mince for it. That's 3.3 kilograms, so that should be a lot and, and plenty. And then um, we got some pork. We can pop that in the freezer perhaps to have at a later date because I think, yeah, the 14th, we're not going to eat it by then because we've got some other meat to, meat to eat. That was like we just saw pork. We love the pork at Costco. It's a really good deal, so we grabbed it. Um, and I think that's all for frozen stuff, isn't it, sweetie? So once we've got those things and the cakes in the deep freezer, we can sort of chill out and yeah. do the rest without freaking. And I'll just say that as well as the lasagna that I'm making, um, we're going to serve a big salad. So I got the huge uh, lettuce mix. It's got various different types of lettuce, so that's nice. And I'm probably just throw some red onion and maybe some um, cut up red capsicum or something through that make it a nice simple salad to have on the side maybe with some red wine vinegar or something like that to have with um, uh, lasagna and then as well as that I just got a big bag of the dinner roll so they can also go in the freezer actually and I'll just say we also got a couple of loaves of bread because we went through bread a bit faster than we anticipated so also so that I don't have to go out again though I think I have to now go out and get lasagna so sheets this is, for, <laughs> this is for my birthday party yes yeah, so we've got a big party mix of lollies yep for my party and dressing. Yes. That's right. And a big packet of kettle chips for your party as well. And then also for your party, though not for you to drink, we got two bottles of Henkel Sparkling. For mum and dad. 
<laughs> for mum and dad maybe we share it with some other people as well um i and think that we got this for my pancakes for yes breakfast. for for a birthday breakfast on monday we're going to have pancakes or waffles we haven't decided no, yet only me and Josie. <laughs> oh so we don't get to have we don't get to have a nice breakfast, just you and Josephine? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. I don't know about that. Okay. And then we got this for my... Was that Layla's doing this? Yeah. Did we? I think I got that because as a holiday treat. Um, it's six packets of tropical fruit drink and it was under $6, so it was a really good deal. So I got some ingredients to help me and Anthony on our... Trim Healthy daddy <laughs> Uh, trim healthy, sorry, <laughs> trim healthy daddy o plan. Um, I'm pretty sure I've already got lots of almond flour, but Nanny just in case nuts. I don't, I got some more. I got some coconut sugar because I'm all out. I was hunting down all the pan all the pantry and the cupboard the other day. I was so surprised. Anyway, I probably the kids got into it. Flax seeds because I thought I would gr grind this myself and make flax seed meal. And that that would probably end up cheaper. And then we're trying this out for the first time. Real crumbed bacon. I think this might be nice to add to our salads, I'm thinking. And then we're pretty low on chia seeds. So we got these to refill that. And then because we're all out um, of chocolate chips, we got some chocolate chips so the children can make cookies once again and then this honey was a great price it's a kilo and it was ten dollars um, and it's in a squeezy bottle so I'm hoping the kids don't make so much mess with it and then these cherries look lovely and I think they were about eight dollars for the punnet so I thought that was quite good for cherries eggs so a packet of 30 free range eggs is just under eight dollars on special so that's how much eggs are around here that's a really good price here actually uh, and i got two of them i didn't know how much, many tins of tomato i had left but it's always good to have and for 12 it was six dollars something so that was quite good i grabbed that and also six dollars something for six jars of pasta sauce an excellent price Jack wanted us to get some orange juice, so it's a holiday, so I said yes, and that'll be nice perhaps to have with the girls' birthday breakfast. <laughs> and then we saw this. This is a pure magnesium bath flakes, and we have a huge bath. It comes with a little scoop and everything, but it's 3.75 kilograms. Nice big tub of pure magnesium bath flakes. So we thought that would be very good for us, and it was only about $14. Four mangoes. These mangoes for the tray of 14 mangoes was about $18 which works out at about a dollar 20 I would say per mango which is an amazing price here usually a good deal is like two dollars per mango so that's a really really good deal and most people except Anthony love mangoes so we will get through, through those following two days flat and then we needed new glasses we also need new kitty cups and things so we really need to go to Ikea but um, these glasses were a good price it was just under $22 for 16 glasses, two, two different sizes, and they will do us well. And then as holiday treats, I got some of the wafer stick things and also a massive tub of pretzels. Oh. And we also, where, where's the toilet paper? Oh. We also got some more water bottles because holidays, beach time and all of that sort of thing. It's just really handy to be able to grab that. And we didn't need any more toilet paper, but we were at Costco. It's great toilet paper at a great price, so we grabbed one of those. So perhaps not as big a Costco haul as normal, but a Costco haul nonetheless. It came to 400 something. I actually can't remember what it cost, but lots of birthday stuff. So Okay, we've been to Ikea today and I forgot to record anything, but I'm going to show you what we got. <laughs> we've even brought home a very tired two-year-old. Okay. We went to Ikea to look for a cot for Daniel because he's still in like a little bassinet type of thing, but he's close to crawling. So that's becoming dangerous soon. So, but we weren't happy with any of the cots at Ikea. So we will look elsewhere. Today we ended up getting this for Jack, which looks like nothing in the pack, but it's four of these wire baskets that's to put in his closet for clothes. And then Josephine is turning 
four and Layla is turning six on Monday. So they chose these soft toys to go with their birthday present. We have been desperate for glasses, kitty cups and mugs. And we got the glasses at Costco, but now we've got eight new mugs. I call it psychiatric green. It's a little bit 80 psychiatric green, isn't it? But they're not too bad. And we like our mugs sort of small because they make a good coffee to milk and everything ratio. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Our coffee mugs, yeah. Coffee, And then, I don't know how many things of bowls we picked up. I, I don't know. Ava chose the bowls. I think maybe we only got one thing of bowls. Ava grabbed some. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I chose... We needed, desperately needed new kitty cups, so I thought probably only needed like two or three of these, but I got double. I got six, so we can put three away for when we need them next. Yeah. So we don't have to do another IKEA trick just for cups. <laughs> and more kitty cutlery. We love the forks and the spoons that come in this. And then a couple of new sippy cups for the babies. And the snap lock bags. Yep, snap lock bags there are very good. And the serviettes are fantastic and a really good price. Um, with our whisk broke a number of weeks ago, so finally I've got the new whisk. Good for making eggs. <laughs> um, Anthony got a bunch of tea light candles. These ones are slightly like they're bigger, so they last longer. More snap lock bags. Anthony also chose what, what are these? Um, Blackberry scented yeah. purple candles. A couple of those pillar and candle. pillar candle and some tea light. Holders. Um, I've got this knife in the past and um, so I grabbed another one. They're $20 at Ikea if you just need a decent knife quickly for an inexpensive price. I'm showing my band-aid. Then I recommend that. <laughs> um, and then also some nice coloured, uh, what are they? Do you like, like handle, handle holders? holders? Anthony also got some glass <coughs> jars. And I think that's it. Is that it? I showed Jack's yeah. thing, sort of. And seriously, this all cost, I don't know, it was well over $100, but that's what happens when you go to <laughs> Ikea, <laughs> when you go to Ikea for a cut and buy everything except a cot. You spend just as much, you just get out of the stuff. That's right, we spend as much as we would on a cot. <laughs> well, just about. And we're still gonna get a cot. <laughs> He's a booty boy. So purchase of the day, because it seems that way at the moment. Um, I've chosen the Russell Hobbs, Russell Hobbs multi-processor. So I needed this because I've never had a food processor. Never ever. I got this for 99 bucks on clearance. And it comes with a glass blender as well, which is lovely, and a smaller processor, which is like, um, would be great for baby food. Um, so I'm really happy with that price. It's only 750 watt, but that'll do us for the time being for that price. That's good. And we didn't have to shell out hundreds of dollars. So that's fabulous. And then I also grabbed a, sorry, all this mess here. I grabbed a coffee grinder just from Kmart, which is also going to be good for me to grind up some seeds and those sorts of things. We're actually not going to use this one for coffee party time today. So I did go and get um, some extra corn chips and um, I know I haven't bought the baby any um, store-bought baby foods in like over a week so um, I got him a whole bunch to just be able to give him something really quick if um, we're running behind because it's the holidays and um, I don't really have a routine at the moment so um, him being seven months I can't just give him anything so I've had to be really clever some days and invent something at the very last minute so this is good for not having to do that <laughs> um, and then Layla is turning six Josephine is turning four and I got them some party supplies because they're having a party tonight family are coming over unicorn theme that seems to be happening they've both got one of these badges each I think one of them's taken them away this is a unicorn table cover all this unicorn party stuff was from Kmart so oh that's the other one so that was really good unicorn straws that's just for them not for anyone else party hats I've got a couple of packets of little party hats and um 
birthday candles and those plates are gorgeous like shelves and they're multicolored they're beautiful and they got balloons do you want to go get your balloons so you can show so this is a crazy shopping expensive time of the year obviously but things will calm down shortly yeah that's fine sweetie oh and i've got coffee here that i forgot about Mm-hmm. so josephine is showing you her unicorn balloons those packets were also from kmart so that was really handy they're beautiful aren't they pink ones and purple ones oh, you're looking forward to your party oh, i love them <laughs> excellent i like unicorns <laughs> who doesn't um, and then to go with the rolls for tonight, I grabbed some nice butter and I still had to grab lasagna sheets. These were on special, actually, nice brand um, Barilla. So they were like just under $2 a pack and I had to get like six packs because I'm doing two massive lasagnas. So that's good. I have to do these. Yeah, I showed those, darling. I picked up some baby wipes. I also picked up a packet of nappies that's somewhere. And then I got these three packets of four. Uh, these are not for the party because we're having lasagna, so that doesn't really work. But um, I sort of couldn't resist. I thought it would be good to put some parchment paper in there and then make our own loaded fries or to put hot dogs in or whatever. Good, just holiday and weekend fun. And we'll just reuse those. Thank you for joining us and you take care. See you later.